weep, grand out, weep, mini bong, and welcome back to my channel where we talk about all things Transformers and Transformers action figure related. And today, or on my channel, I'm going to be asking one question Is this the year of the Galvatron? Now, in my eyes, 2020 was definitely the year of the Menosaur. We had the DX9 take on Menosaur. We had the XTB take on Menosaur as well. We also had the Fans Toys take and also the shiny, 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 shiny Transformation take. So all in all, we had so many takes on Menosaur, we were spoilt for choice. And this year, this year the focus has definitely shifted to one person, and that is... Galvatron. Yes, indeed, the one, the only, the purple menace, the mental tyrant himself, Galvatron. And you are going to be able to pick this dude up in whichever format you want. He comes big, he's coming small, he's coming the size of a planet, but in a teeny tiny scale this year. And any collector's shelf, I reckon, will definitely have a Galvatron on it by the end of this year. So we're going to take a look at some of the Galvatrons that have been uh, spoke about so far uh, this year and see which ones are currently in pre-order and coming up right now. The hype around Galvatron has definitely picked up because of his short but very memorable appearance on Earthrise, the Netflix show. And because of this, we already know he is getting a figure within the War for Cybertron line, which looks like it's going to be a similar size to Ultra Magnus, but we'll pick up on that in a second. We're going to start our journey in the smallest way possible. We're going to join this on the Legends side. So Legends, you've actually got two choices coming up this year. First is the Iron Factory Void Tyrant, scheduled for release in 2020, pushed back due to challenges around that happened last year. But this dude is coming this year. I am assured and happening fairly fairly soon pre-orders up everywhere for this dude at the moment I actually paid for this dude a long time ago so I can't wait to get my hands on this this is an iron factory style version so he is more stylized but if you want that classic Galvatron look then the team over at New Age have got you covered from every single direction possible. They've already released Darius, which is more of the classic shiny, shiny, shiny look, but they have so many different versions coming as well. They've got the classic toy gray looking version come in as well which is pretty nice i quite like the look of this one as well they've even got a translucent version of this figure coming actually dropping in this year in this month of, t of march i think or april in 2021 this is coming they come with loads of accessories the shiny shiny version as well looks beautiful and actually comes with some crazy accessories as well so you can have galvatron the size of a planet on legend scale they're even doing some retoolings on these figures to create a brand new take on straxus and also your shattered glass megatron also dropping very very soon so so much going on in the legend scale if you want something a little bit more out there from an iron factory or your classic galvatron look then legends is well covered off this year Moving over to the world of Hasbro, and although no official release has happened for this figure yet, we are getting leaked images of this now, what seems like a daily basis, and I will admit I am swinging wildly from this looking absolutely fantastic to this looking a little bit stocky and a little bit chunky. People are kind of divided on this figure. A lot of people don't like the battle damage on it, or they do, again, think it's a little bit chunky or a little bit small or a little bit too big. So I've seen opinions all over the place, and my own personal opinions are all over the place on this. Definitely looking forward to the official release of this one, uh, or the official 
pictures and things like that of it. I think this is probably going to happen at the Fan Fest, uh, the Hasbro Pulse Con, at the end of, oh no, sorry, the beginning of April. Um, so hopefully we'll get some good images there and we'll see what it looks like and what the final take on this looks like because of course this could just be a prototype he stands quite tall he's taller than i thought so he's about the size of magnus so i'm definitely happy with the size of him i like the cannon i like the fact that you get multiple choices with the cannon when he's in his alt mode as well accessories wise this dude is really cool especially if you like your movie because he does come with a matrix and a big chunky chain to go around there as well the original images that we got of this alt mode were blurry as all hell obviously and he does come with the revenge as well as a kind of railgun attachment so i'm excited for this i am actually really really happy to see this i think the head sculpt looks fantastic on this one so it's the only one we're getting it around this size because then of course we move on to the masterpiece size and we're even getting a contender for this dude this year so for years the person on top of that throne has been sovereign fans toys take on galvatron renowned as probably the ultimate take on galvatron at the moment but a pretender to the throne somebody is coming to attack that and that will be the x transbot abaddon uh, version here obviously this is a slightly reworked version from the prototype that they released or some pictures that came out a few years back so images for this dropped today and today being the 25th of march 2001 these are the pictures that we have just got of this figure i'm liking both modes i have to say that the alt mode looks good i think that the uh, bot mode also looks good i'm really looking forward to seeing what this figure can bring as long as this doesn't end it bad comedy so I'm really hoping that x transbots have learnt the lessons of Locke and that this Anvertus will actually be really good. Let me know your thoughts on this and everything else down in the comments. Which Galvatron are you going to be taking home to sit on your shelves? I think I am actually picking up. I know I actually have pre-orders in on these and some of them I've already paid in full for. So there's going to be a lot of these appearing up on this channel. The uh, New Age Darius I'm thinking I might even... I'm definitely double dipping. I may even be in triple dipping or quadruple dipping on that one because I do really like the look of that. So if you're new around here, think about giving me a like, a share and a subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Alright guys, in a bit. Peace!